Well, welcome back, guys. And um, from my last video, what we did is we made, you know, some traps to try to keep the base, you know, a bit secured. And I made them in front of the um, windows here because I can stand in front of the windows and kind of lure the mutants to me, and they will stand there and they'll end up getting trapped. And they kind of the same concept with the noose trap, which you can bar you can barely see there. So I can basically kind of run between these two and kind of stay in here and they will end up getting trapped in the uh, noose type of thing. I guess it's, that's what it's called, I, th I believe. Find it. Yeah, noose trap. So this video is basically, I was going to make it about exploring the map and explaining some of the better points of where you need to set up at and where you shouldn't set up at. But I actually thought of something that would be really good to make a video on, considering there's so many deer around here that just need to be taken care of. So if we hit B, we can go into the survival guide again, is where you all your buildings and stuff are at. And we can go into food. So this video is basically going to be, be about placing your rabbit cages, which will be in the base, and your rabbit traps will be out the side of the base. So, you know, I can get all that place, I can get me a small garden started, and I can get me a drying rack going. So, I'm going to go ahead and, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to make a few fires outside the base here, just so I can get some, you know, vision. And we'll go back to the fires and standing fire. Uh, you can relight these fires, but they kind of, they're not as bright as the, when you first use them. So, what, what we'll do is we'll just place one here over here let's place one here we'll just kind of place you know throughout the base sort of place one there come over here and we'll place another one we'll place one more other than this one too but you see the, the uh, noose trap here anybody that walks in it will be get trapped and I can also just reset the trap after I kill them or get them loose from it and we'll place the last one right there so those are body parts, I don't need the body parts to build this so I need to go out, I've already used all my stuff from my um... except for the rocks, I can come in here and I can grab the rocks and be able to um... I have one stick so I'll go ahead and grab the one stick and we'll go, we'll go and get the main rock foundation going here So I don't know if I have any more rocks. No, I do not. So I need to go back in the base. I need to go grab some more rocks. This is why it's really important to actually I'm stuck the fire. Just get, get, get some more light in here. This is why it's important to actually have the rock holders and stuff. Because when you actually do go out and explore, you are able to, um, you know, to actually what is that? You're actually able to be pretty efficient. You know. You can have your rocks in here, you can go out hunt for more. Then when you're done doing that, you can just come, you know, you, you can place the ones you found back in your rock holders and you're good to go. So, seems like it is getting more daylight now, so I do not need the fires, but they will be handy when I, it comes not again and I do need more vision around the base. So, what I plan on doing now is I will go out, go ahead and gather, gather, gather the sticks, get, get the, uh, get, get the uh, fire going. Or not, you know, get, not get the fire going, but I'll get the, um, you know, get them ready and suited for when I do need to use them. So I have more logs down here that I can use. They don't disappear. You can just save the game, and they're ba basically there when you need them. So it's not that big, big of a deal making a log holder or anything, but I probably wouldn't end up doing that later on, just when I get more into building and stuff. Because what I plan on doing is I will box in this whole entire pond here with my door, with an additional door that way I can basically come out, fish safely and not have to worry about a um, mutants killing me or anything like that so I may have just messed that trap up, no I did not oh and you, you can't get caught in, in, your own, in your own traps by the way I actually did test it out it just kind of dis disables the trap and you have to reset it so it's really no big Big, big, big deal at all. And here's another weak mutant. 
we'll go ahead and just knock her teeth out and kill her. There was a bug that if you when you stood on them and they exploded that you would like li literally get shot like in the air and then you just end up falling to your death. So luckily that did not happen with me and they may have fixed it, but there's still quite a few bugs with with the game. So I need a few more sticks. Two more sticks actually. Okay, we have all my sticks that uh, that I need. I picked up additional rocks on the way to where I can just uh that way I can just place them back into my rock holder and we'll be good to go. So we'll go over here and get these finished building. And there is one more. There we go. All my fires are ready. It's like that and it's going to get lit, unfortunately. But that's, that's okay. I hit E too many times. So we'll go We'll go back in here. I do need to eat, so I am going to go fishing some more. We'll put the additional rocks there. My additional sticks in there. Do I have anything to eat? No, I do not. So I do need to go back out here and fish for some more. And I don't know if this is an unlimited supply of fish or not, but um, you know, it kind of saves me from actually having to do more hunting activities. Oh, come on, man! There we go. There's one, two. Going into the ground, ain't she? One of them ground fish. So we'll go back up here, cause I do need to eat regardless of my energy, because my health is or my hunger is getting pretty low. So we'll go ahead and light up my fire. Go into my inventory. Take the fish. Cook the fish. And we'll sit there and let that cook. Go ahead and pull my axe back out. So now that I got all my fires, my standing fires put around the base. So when it does turn night, I do have pretty good vision. And I can go outside my base without getting completely trapped or just ambushed by uh, mutants. Which they have not been coming around since I do have a fairly good base set up. So the fish should be done any moment now, and it's now done. So we'll go ahead and eat it, get my energy back up, and I'll go ahead and go ahead and save the game, which is really important. And it only takes a few seconds. So, alrighty, now I guess I will come back in here first because I do need to come here to the food tab. And I'll get a rat, and I'll get a rat, 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 rabbit cage. Watch out for the fire as well. I'll just place my rabbit cage right there. So I need two sticks. Come over here to, to my log holder, and grab the stick that I had put in there. So now we need 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 to go back out here, because I do want to have my rabbit rabbit cage finished before I start catching the uh, rabbits. So we'll go ahead and do that. If I can hit the tree take care of that. We'll come down here. Chop down a few more. I think I, I can only hold. Oh, yeah, there's, okay, guys. Um, it's like I just found my uh, my log holder. And tell you the truth, I have no clue what it's doing down here. Because in the previous video, I had parked it up here at my house. So, we're, we're going to go ahead and get it back where it belongs. I don't I don't know if the mutants yeah, I bet the mutants or a deer or something may have actually ran into it and they kinda just pushed it away. So we'll just keep it right here. Now this is this is it's in a good area. I know where it's at. It's visible from the base, so we'll just leave it there. And we'll chop this tree down. I only need if I can hit it. There we go. I don't know why he's going up and down. I think it'd be much easier going from the side. I don't need, I don't need that log, so I will drop it. I need to gather two more sticks, and then I'll have to go back to the base because I can't hold any more than ten in my inventory at one time. I think you should be able to craft yourself a backpack or something with the um, with the uh, cloth, but that's currently not an option. So yeah, ten sticks is all you can carry at one time. But um. Yeah, some weird sound glitches, but uh, they have been adding in a whole bunch more of craftables and stuff. 
was in earlier versions of the game they didn't they didn't even have that do it yourself crafting guide open it was basically just grayed out so it was their intentions to actually add it but they just had not done that yet so there we go we just need two more sticks to be able to finish our um, rabbit cage and then, then, then we can get started on the rabbit traps so we'll go ahead and go pick up those two sticks that I've seen down here if I can remember where they're at but no worries though because there is another tree here oh man getting weird little freeze glitches so we do have the two sticks now so we'll go ahead and run back up here to our base it's start, starting to rain my FPS is dropping so I'm hoping I'm hoping all the videos are fine I have not checked them yet because so, I have like five videos that I'll be rendering at one time and whatnot. So there we go. There's a ra there's a rabbit cage. So the next step is to actually start building rabbit cages outside. And I don't know if they'll catch raccoons or not, but if they do, I'll just let them go. So now we need the rabbit traps. I guess I'll place one there. Place one here. And I'll place one there. They seem to be running around this area quite often, but you can kind of just space them across the base. I can't, I just want to keep them in one area though. So now we need to gather 93 sticks. This is going to be quite the time. So, like the last video, I did cut it. Now we'll be splitting it in two from when I made the base. But I don't think that's going to be too net, too necessary with actually um, doing the sticks because they don't really. You know, it doesn't really take too much time actually to pick up sticks and the trees die in one hit if you can actually get a proper hit on them so you know you know if you can get a hit on them like, like I said maybe I need to aim up instead of aiming at the ground but here's my 10 sticks so I think what I'll do instead of trying to well, I guess it really doesn't matter does it I was going to put them in the actual stick holders, but I can just come over here and just, just do this. I mean, it's the same thing, really. So, yeah, it's going to be quite the time. But, you know, this, I don't plan this video to being too long. Man, it's very glitchy. There we go. Do a weird little downward side chop at it. So yeah, we'll finish this up. You know, instead of making all three of them traps, I may actually do a bit more stuff. Like I may um may create me a garden, and I, you know I'll go out and explore a bit and figure out you know which which seeds you can actually you know grab off certain plants to actually you know make stuff grow appears to be a mutant there I doubt he's gonna be messing with me you know I've you know I've basically destroyed so many of his much of his family that he already knows what's up you know he's just not gonna mess, mess with me so I need 11, 11 more sticks to finish that one trap so you see how it's going pr pretty quick Unfortunately, though, once you deforest stuff, it's really hard to actually get going. That's why you really need to start up with the stick holders and the rock holders, just so you can at least have some in your base at all times. So, we'll go ahead and spend a few minutes trying to hit this. There we go. Well, I just got the leaves of it. I'm not actually hitting it, am I? There we go with the glitching again. There we go. So now we need to. I like it better when they're on the ground. This is just so much easier to pick them up. This, this is actually working out. I think I have the hang of it. Oh, it's gonna eat a bad berry. So there we go. We got ten more sticks. I wish we could hold more than 10 because I mean you know if, if you have a backpack which you know this guy he has an inventory so you know I, so I would expect him to have some sort of backpack on 
but you know you could get more than 10 sticks in a backpack especially sticks this size I think I could fit you know 30 sticks in a backpack that I can carry you know at least 10 more in each hand somehow so we'll go ahead and gather the one more stick that I need to finish that trap it should be around here somewhere on the ground what's up dude having a bad day I think so that's some rapid attacks going there. Eat the mushroom. Kind of. Okay, the orange mushroom was bad, actually. That's odd, you know. All the other orange mushrooms I've ate have been perfectly fine. Maybe it was a red one. Yeah. These red ones are bad. So just eat the orange ones and eat the tan ones. Don't eat the uh, red ones. So let's need one more stick. Which uh, maybe I don't have any of it. They really need to fix certain things with like pathing and whatnot. It's so delayed and I chopped something over there. I'm just trying to fucking chop this. So this is actually what takes so long about this, is just trying to get the fucking stick, man. That's all I want is a stick. This tree, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna move on to this one. Which looks odd. Like, what is that? It's like it grew a bit or something and glitched out. Alright, I'm just gonna pick this stick up off the ground. <laughs> I'm not wasting, you know, a few minutes trying to chop down a tree that's only gonna give me two sticks when I can just, you know, spend half that time looking on the ground and actually find one. So, yeah, we'll set this rabbit trap up and then we'll go out and we'll, we will actually make some more things. Um,. Now that's complete. I may be able to reset this to be honest with you. I've never tried it before. But let's just hope the rabbit will go in there. I'm gonna get away so I don't so I don't spook it. And we'll see what else we can make for our traps. We can make a small garden, which I will go ahead and do that. Um Don't don't know where, where, where I wanna make my garden. I kinda wanna make it away from like, you know, just brush and grass and stuff. So I think I may just put it outside the base right here. Seems like a good, good spot, doesn't it? So yeah, I need only two logs actually. Oh, wrong button. If you see here, it says I need five logs, but I would only need two logs, which is great, you know. It works out for me. I feel like when the game is finally complete, all that stuff will be changed and it will match what the guide says you need. But for the meantime, it's it do, it, do, it do, doesn't match, and so far you need far less materials than what you actually need to get started. So that's uh, that's a bonus. So yeah, we'll go ahead and go over here and finish the garden with just two logs. I need to eat soon because my energy is getting quite low. And you you always need to keep your energy up, especially during the during the night. Is that a mushroom? No, it's just a log. Because in case you get you start getting chased, you can actually run, and you don't have to kind of walk. You know, because you're just kind of walking away from your death, pretty much. So yeah, we'll go we'll go over here real quick. Check check the rabbit trap. No, nope, he's smart. I think he's checking it out. He's like, man, that looks awful suspicious, man. I ain't seen that before. I ain't going near it, man. So okay, so now we need to get a drying rack. This will basically be for my meats. You know, it'd be for um, the deer meat and maybe other meats like rabbit meat or some something like that. Even though I can cook it directly if I want to. So this is something I'll probably place. I don't know. It's too big to go in the base. I should have made the base a bit bigger. But whatever. I actually um, was going to put a door in here, but I kind of forgot. So the only door I have to build off of is this door right here. But I can also build a separate base if I wanted to. And I could just put all this type of stuff in it. The rabbit cages, the garden, you know, just my stick holders. And I can just have this as my main base that I actually live in. So we're, we're going to go out and gather 19 sticks. So two trips, we'll be able to finish that. And it says 80 down there at the bottom left, but that's also including the rabbit traps. So we'll have another go at this. 
and unfortunately I'm just not going to be able to get them. I don't know why not. Like, I don't, I don't know guys. It's so annoying that, you know, you just can't chop them properly and I'm right there at it, you know, my axe is swinging through it. See what I mean? I chop the leaves off. I guess once you chop the leaves off, what you want to do is you just want to hold it in that position and chop again and you should be able to, be able to get it. Yep, that's the trick guys. I've actually been moving, you know, each time. So I haven't been able to actually um, position it correctly. So I have all my sticks for the first run, which is 10. I need to gather nine, nine more. But you see my energy is quite low, and that's actually a very big bug, guys. Wow. So apparently when your energy gets down this low, it refills as fast as it drains because it can't te technically drain all the way out. So I was able to run just then pretty much full speed unlimitedly, but now it's at a point to where it's too slow to, to run. So it's just a minor bug. But it's a bug nonetheless, so we'll go ahead and go in here because my hunger is dropping. We're increasing, but the hunger meter is dropping. So we'll go and go go over here. Lock, lock, lock my fire back up. Pull the fish out from earlier that I caught and go ahead and get it cooked on the fire. I'll stoke it just to get it going. I don't know if it helps cook faster or not. But that's what we'll go ahead and do. Should be finished. Right about now. Now. Maybe now. There we go. Oh shit. Don't play with fire, kids. You get fucking burned. So yeah, if you're gonna build if you're gonna build a base, build it next to water because you know I don't know how many times I fucking ran into that. So I need to go out and grab my other nine sticks that I can can complete my drying rack. And that should uh sum up you know the basics of um, hunting pretty much and um, I'll probably cut the video there and then within the next video I will actually you know I'll actually put the the drying rack to use so I think that is just bugged and it's not going to let me have it because it is kind of glitched out and the graphics on it are not true like at all so you gotta stand far away they're not that far away. Not that far away. There we go. One hit. Two hits. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this now. One hit. Two hits. Yep. So that's the trick. As long as you it would hit the leaves unless you just go man on it right there and just murder the whole thing. In one hit. Yes, try to try to hit hit the leaves. When you hit the leaves on the tree, the next hit should take it out. Takes a bit of getting used to. I still haven't got the hang of it. I think I've gathered over um probably about two hundred six total, just building everything I have here. So go over here. Get my drying rack finished. I don't know exactly how to, how to use it. I have killed a deer earlier. And I was not able to pick anything up from the deer. But it's like the rabbit trap hasn't caught anything yet. So, you know, these aren't the best methods of getting food. But it's, it's just something, you know, to where you don't have to go out. You know, you can just basically leave these here. Leave the traps there. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll be a slow but reliable source of food. Or maybe not, but... It seems that the brush does grow back so you do have to get out your black and decker weed whacker again and take care of them so let's see what what's next we have the drying rack we have the rabbit cage and we have the garden so I guess what's next is to create a bow and from earlier in the video or not this video but previous video when I did go down to the enemy camp I acquired some rope from them 
and that basically that rope allows me to make me a bow so we'll go ahead open up the crafting menu or not from there we'll open up our inventory we'll place a stick a rag and rope and that makes lets us make a bow so we'll, be, we'll, we'll hunt with that and to make actual arrows you need feathers which I have here I don't have five though you need five feathers for an arrow and I doubt the arrows are reusable and I don't exactly know how the best way to obtain feathers um, I really don't As you would think having a bow would be beneficial for that just because you can shoot the birds out of the air and there's the orange mushroom you're safe to eat those but um since I don't have a bow, I can't really do that. Now aren't the graphics just wonderful, man? This water, when the sun hits it, it gives some weird reflections. It's like the sun is sunk into the ground. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't see there's any geese out there just because of, of that. So I have to wait till the sun goes away and kind of sets or, or rises or something just to get the perfect look on it. So unfortunately I do need feathers to make my arrow. So I don't know if I'll be able to do any hunting or not. So I may cut the video here and um actually try to acquire all that stuff. You know, get get the feathers and whatnot and then um you know be be ready to go hunting instead of trying to figure all this out and wasting an hour in the video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a short video on hunting or setting up traps and getting your hunting prepared. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you in the next one.